I want to get rich, like this rich. And I'm giving myself 24 hours to see how much I can get in modded Minecraft. We're gonna go from rags to riches and beyond. Salutations, my name is Eclipse, EQ for short, and welcome to modded Minecraft. Today, I'm gonna see how rich I can get in hardcore in 24 hours. So no deaths and big large money. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe. This is a little something new, but I wanted to make these videos in between the really big projects like the 100 days. So if you like it, like it, and leave a comment letting me know you guys want more of this stuff. So let's do this. The timer starts now. Loading into the world and we are starting fresh. Not a damn thing to my name. And we need to get as rich as possible. So of course, I started off by chopping trees. There's vein miner in this mod, so that's gonna make things easier. Right after this, I ran up into a fountain and if you break these pillars, there are chests under. And would you look at that? My first ever bit of riches. I got iron and one singular diamond. This is gonna be a slow start. Now living in this game is just as important as getting rich. Well. Hold on, that's sacrilege. Is almost as important as getting rich. Nothing is more important than money, okay? That nothing is more important than money, but that is a close second. Anyways, I ate a piece of bread and it gave me another heart because the flavor was unique. My Minecraft guy is so boring that the flavor of bread was special to him. I fucking love this bread. But I'll take another heart, it helps me live, and you can't be rich if you're dead. That's canon. A couple minutes later, I found a village, stole their waystone, that will be important later, and killed their iron golem like you've seen Minecraft YouTubers do a million times. Nothing special here. What is special is this dungeon I located. Now, if you've played this mod pack before, you'll know that these dungeons are crawling with spawners and other shit that wants to and probably will succeed in killing me. But you'll also know that the lower you go, the better is the loot. And at the bottom, there's sometimes diamonds and diamond armor and maybe even netherite. And I'm Scrooge McDucking up in this bitch, so we gotta get that as fast as possible. So I suited up in some chainmail that I found in a chest upstairs, donned my night vision goggles I also found in the same chest, and headed into what could probably kill me immediately. Level 1 wasn't too bad, but the loot wasn't that great. Level 2, I gained a heart from food again, and then I nearly died heading down to level 3. What's that, like 30 minutes into the game and I'm almost dead? That's an academy record. This is a bad idea. On half a heart right here. Yeah, mm-hmm, wonderful. This is going great. I did manage to snag a diamond sword, so I didn't leave completely empty-handed at least. Afterwards, I found another part of the dungeon, and I'm a fucking hard-headed bitch, so I looted the place and nearly burned to death in the process. Why? This sucks. I'm almost dead. It's hour one. I haven't even done anything yet. But oh, found me some golden apples, emeralds, and more iron, so at least I'm filling my pockets fast as I'm dying. Some of these profits had to go into making armor, clearly. But hey, I think drip is also, you know, part of the riches. It counts. Fuck, do you want this video to be five minutes long? No, I didn't think so. Anyways, more loot and my first piece of diamond armor. Also nearly died again, yay. And in this fuckville looking cave, I stumbled upon another dungeon with mossy cobble and these purple banners and a dragon head. Holy fuck, this is the stronghold. I've seen this structure in better Minecraft before and I know that this is the end stronghold. Fucking not even one hour in. We are now though, and I found me a power four bow with the ability indestructible. I'm sure you can piece together that that means it no breaky. So that's some valuable piece of equipment. Also got some diamond gear and managed to fully deck myself out in the blue stuff. A couple minutes later, I found the portal room and marked it for later. But I'm running out of food and I need more money. So I went exploring for a village to pillage, we will say. What I did not expect to find when I went exploring was a fucking mansion. And once again, need to do the big living, so. I'll take that. Thank you very much. I managed to get two totems from this and I hightailed it the fuck out of there before a vindicator got a lucky hit in. Still running off to find shit, I found a ruined portal that if I replace one block, I can immediately head to the nether. So I did that and that wraps up hour two of this challenge. Kicking off hour three and avocados are the fucking bomb. That's 13 hearts now. I found me a village to explore, we'll call it, and I got yet another heart. Back in the dungeon, I found two pieces of ancient debris that definitely counts as riches. And you knew it was coming. I got me some blazes. Fucking course I did. It's Minecraft. What did you expect me to do in the night? Like sit on my ass? I'll spare you the boredom and execution and just skip to me getting nine of them. They'll all be useful. Hour four, I made an emerald chest plate. Just every little bit helps me not die. I guess I'm now basing at this ruined portal, so I set up some furnaces and chests and freed up all the shit in my inventory so I could go into yet another dungeon. Right off the bat, I found a mending shield. It sparkled and glowed, and I like shiny things, so gimme. The reason I'm in this dungeon in the first place is the later chests usually also have ender pearls in them. And since I've already found the fucking stronghold, I might as well hop my happy ass to the end and bop a dragon. Or at least that was the plan. But no, I didn't find any ender pearls in here. 
I mean, well, I found like two, but that's nowhere near good enough. And I shit you not, in this dungeon, I found another goddamn stronghold. This is a different one. Are you shitting me? And I'm still perilous. I have two end portals, and I don't even have enough ender eyes to fill one. You'd think I would find more ender pearls than end portals, but you'd be wrong. Also, before you ask, looking around in the end fucking dungeon, the end stronghold that is made for the end, you think you'd find ender pearls. I did not. Fuck. But I did get diamond horse armor, so at least my non-existent horse can look fabulous. I did also get a couple books like Vorpal and found Frostwalker boots, so at least this place has good loot, but still no ender balls. Got me a pyramid map though, and I went to go find it. No one told me that it was gonna be like six years away, but when I finally got there, I thought the loot would be good. It was ass. I just wasted 15 minutes for this shit with no pearls, no happiness, and no money. Money. Big green jewels, cock, diamond, riches, money. money. None of it. Didn't get any of it. I don't think you guys are getting this. It's a very simple concept. I need money. Side note, I did get an enchanted apple, but you'll see later that that's not really that good in this. It's not really that exciting, so just shut up. Hour five, and you can't get riches by sitting on your ass. That's a known fact. Unless you're a YouTuber, but that's not the point. I can't make money by doing nothing. So I'm vein mining the shit out of the underground and collecting every little bit of lead, iron, copper, gold, redstone, blue sky, emeralds, everything. For some reason, finding redstone was really hard. I don't fucking know why. It's just always something in these videos. Nothing ever goes perfectly. But finding redstone was impossible. There was even ruby that looked like redstone, but wasn't and didn't glow. So I took the ruby and I made myself some armor cause you know, it shows off my status. I'm a rich bitch. I gotta act like it. But you know, if, you, if you were keeping track, you would still know that I have no fucking ender pearls. I did come up with a plan to get some ender pearls, but I have to give up some of my precious gold. It must be done though, because I can't get pearls anywhere else, obviously. I better get a million fucking pearls from this piglin, I swear to god. And while, yes, I did get pearls from the piglins, I got something much more valuable in the process. Four Aldamadium nuggets. Now I hear you asking what the fuck is Aldamadium. Well, hit the like button and subscribe and I'll tell ya. <laughs> you like that? Smooth, right? N well, fuck you then. Any fucking who, all the modium, or ATM, is this game's strongest line of progression for armor, tools, anything. So that stuff is like money, money. Money! And these piglins are the key to getting more. But for that, I'm gonna need tons of gold. I don't wanna spend the next 19 hours mining gold, so it's time to make a machine to do it for me. Or rather, grow it for me. Before I can even do that, I need RF, redstone fuck. And that's what it stands for. Just ask anyone in the comment section, they'll tell you. I got all the pieces needed to build an infinite RF machine, except for rubber. So hour six, I'm back in that fucking cave because I thought I saw some vines in the mossy level. This took forever, but the vines are needed and they're the only place I can get them to get rubber. After the hour, I had everything I needed to make what I'd like to call, <clears throat> I stole this from YouTube tutorials, but I'm not gonna tell you because I wanna look smart, 3000. The I stole this from YouTube tutorials, but I'm not going to tell you because I want to look smart 3000 or the ISTFYT bang TYCIWLS 3000 takes a builder and uses the pump mod to drain blocks from the nether. So technically this isn't infinite, but it's going to be draining lava from the nether over time. There's a lot of lava in the nether. I don't think I'm going to have to refill this in 24 hours. After we drain the nether, I pipe it into an ender tank, load these chunks so it's always running and made another ender tank in the overworld so I don't have to go back. Using magmatic dynamos, I can exchange lava into RF and boom, infinite RF forever. Now we can power a pulverizer for ore doubling, a redstone furnace, so no more wasting coal, and we can power garden cloches, which is what I'll be making now. To do that though, I need bricks, iron, a metallurgic infuser, a coke oven, an olive branch with a dove, and a Minecraft bachelor's degree. So I'm going shopping. <laughs> I immediately found a dungeon and marked it for later, but now here's a montage of me building all of this bullshit. I'm not gonna bore you with the details, but here we go. Metallurgic infuser, enriching iron, coke oven, blast furnace to make steel, pulverizer, redstone furnace to double all the ores, treated wood, then an engineer's workbench to make the vacuum tubes, told you you would need a bachelor's degree for this shit, and finally, I'm in a box with glass on top and I can shove plants in there. What plants? Well, we need Supremium, and that's now derived from Inferium. So we're making those seeds and upgrading the soil so it's much faster. Shove the Inferium seeds into the cloche, and it will double them for all eternity. Remember, all of this shit that I'm doing is to get unlimited gold to get all the modium. So it's gonna be worth it. I promise. 
And at the end of the next hour, gonna just skip all of the bullshit for you, I promise. Boom, gold seats. When I stuck them in the close though, I found out that all the mod six makes these the slowest fucking process ever. Like really, I could just fall asleep. I spent hour nine trying my best to find another way to get gold essence from the seeds faster. I tried botany pots, phytogenic isolators, but nothing worked. So I just made multiple cloches and gold seeds and redstone seeds for flare. Also, I keep running out of redstone for whatever reason. It's rarer than diamond in this fucking mod. While this is doing its thing though, I had an idea to make this gold exchange a little faster at least. Monster balls. T seriously, this is, not, this is not a joke. Monster balls. They're basically pokeballs for people that don't want to get sued. I need coral for this, so we're gonna have to go on another excursion. Also, I set up an blah, 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 fuck, and then I bought and then I stuck my. And then also, I set up an enchantment section of my ruined rock house thing, but I don't have an enchantment table yet, so it just is kind of sitting there. Anyways, out to go get snow and coral. Did I mention I need snow? I guess that's where the balls come from. Found a tundra really close to home and acquired the balls, part of the monster balls. Now I just need the coral. In the same biome, I found a snow pyramid and fucked it up. But it's okay, there's lightning in the distance. I wonder what that could be. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. So big strong asshole zombie popped both my totems in the span of two milliseconds. Fuck! I did manage to catch him in the water where he couldn't move and take him out. His name was Henderson and he dropped his cool sword. Finders keepers and considering he popped both of my totems, I feel that this is at least a fair trade. And here's another pyramid. And here's me fucking it up again. Lovely. Well, it was really out of the fucking way, but on hour 10, we got the coral. Yay. Now I have to deal with the trek back. These balls better be worth it. And they are, because now I can catch piglins from the nether and bring them back and process my gold for all eternity. Oh. I've been playing Minecraft for over 10 years, and somehow I never knew that these fuckers just change back into normal zombie piglins in the overworld. Huh. Damn. Oh well, no matter. I'll use my balls to pick up some more and make a little trap for them right outside the portal. Also, we gotta name our not slaves. I like to call them unpaid, like super unpaid. I'm not giving away any of my fortune to unpaid workers. Yeah. The rest of the hour was spent rolling the proverbial dice and praying I get all the modium nuggets. This took about 30 minutes, but I came out with six nuggets. Now this is nowhere near what I needed for a full set of gear, but I got a lot of all the modium apples, which are like golden apples if golden apples weren't pussies. Still, this wasn't enough ADM, so I left the closures running all night as I took a nap like a baby. Also to clarify, I didn't nap in Minecraft. I went to bed in real life, but did you really want me to just sit here for the rest of the 24 hours? No, you're welcome. Hour 11, I had a lot of gold, so here we go off to trade with piglins again. Now I was hoping for at least a stack of ATM, but after 10 minutes, I got a whopping 37 nuggets. I used seven stacks of gold and got 37 nuggets. But that's not all. The real star of the show here were the all the modium boots. These were the rarest drops from the piglins, like one in a thousand or something. And I fucking got them. Check this out. 100 defense as opposed to four on my other boots and immune to fall damage. Hell yes. You see why I want this gear? God, I need to get a full set of gear right away. But. 37 nuggets isn't even gonna get me a helmet. This is not gonna work this way. So I took to the internet to research how the fuck to get ATM gear before I turn 60, and I found it. The mining dimension. You see, ATM can only be found in ocean biomes in the overworld, from Y5 to 15 or some shit, and it's rarer than me actually being funny. But in the mining dimension, it's as common as a club. The teleporter isn't that hard to make either, but before we go, I need to make all the modium sight potions. You see, Google is very helpful, and let me explain. All the modium sight potions are made from calcinated ATM, and you can get that by crushing up one ingot in the mortar and diamond pestle. I have all of that, so I sacrificed nine of my precious nuggets and made calcinated ATM. Using a brewing stand, we can Walter White this shit and make potions out of all the modium sight, and then wrap that in six blaze powder and turn the two and a half minute potions into a charm that can be turned on and off by right clicking. There used to be another step to this though, and you can make those charms invincible, but as I find out later, that shit's been patched out because it was just hella OP. For us though, if you turn it on and off immediately, you can kind of get the same effect. Last thing to do is to test it in the mining dimension. So using an ender pearl and four ATM nuggets, we can head there. 
I came to the dimension unprepared, because my plan was to get to Y25 and start vein mining for all the modium. But my pick broke almost instantly. So I'm just gonna get a lot of picks, because all the modium and later ores are what I'm gonna use to make my actual good pick. Fuck, time to get emeralds. Hour 12 and I'm still being cock teased by ATM, so now we're looking for villagers and totems. Don't think I forgot that I'm a near dead man walking. And like I said, you can't be rich when you're dead. Trust me, I did the math, it doesn't work out. I digress though, I'm at the village, and I'm just gonna take this, and this, and this. Good. I will say, something that has taken the most time in this is getting around, like just moving from place to place. So we're gonna do an old school method, a slime sling from Tinker's Construct. So I towered up next to my house, and at the Slime Island, or Slimeland for short, I made the sling, and they fucking nerfed it! Just like they nerf everything that brings me happiness on this fucking planet. Look at this hop! Yeah, it's shitty. Yeah, I know, it's fuck. You hear that sound effect I did with my mouth? Yeah, it's fucking garbage. So, I'm shittily hopping my way over to a mansion now. We. I take way less damage now that I'm wearing these shiny shoes, but I'm nowhere near invincible, so I ate one ATM apple and got back my two totems. I better not lose these again. More employees! Also, I found these crates in the nearby village, and that's awesome, because crates in this work like shulker boxes, in that the items don't escape whenever you break the block. So I took as many of them as I could for easy storage. Also had to hire some more of my crew. <clears throat> Hello there. And when I got home, I began the villager farm and trade hall for emerald production. You can make emerald picks in this game, and with how easy emeralds are to get, I thought I'd just sell, 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 and make picks to break over and over in search of ATM. I also bought a suspicious stew to level up my farmer, and it gave me another heart. Hell yes. Now with these absolute tons of emeralds, I made picks and went back to the mining dimension. Now, I was thinking this may take me five, maybe ten minutes with the charm to find one piece. Nope! Already one piece of all the modium. So I dug up to it and... Damn it! I need netherite! I'm never gonna get this fucking ore. In the nether and come on, come on... Yes, there's ancient debris. And with the two that I got what feels like forever ago, I can make a netherite pickaxe. I also made a dank, but that's not too important. It just means I have a lot of ore storage now. Now, finally, let's get that fucking all the modium. Oh yeah, and Thomas, speed up this footage, because in about 20 minutes, I got all the all the modium I could ever need for a full set of gear. I pulverized it, smelted it down, and made the beautiful golden ATM gear. Now, this, this is some fine riches, but I think we can aim higher. Now it's time for Vibranium! Using another teleporter, trust me, I've got the ATM to spare, I made a portal in the nether. This won't take me to the mining dimension, instead it takes me to the other. The other is the most dangerous dimension in this mod. It's actually where ice and fire dragons reside, so I'm just gonna really hurry this up and keep my head low. But this place also has a lot of vibranium, and we already found some, but I can't break it yet. Looking up on Google, it says to make a mining gadget, so that's what I did, and now look. Easy vibranium. After getting one ore, I pulverized, then smelted it, and made it calcinated, then got the charm, so let's get a fuck ton of vibranium. There's not a lot of ores in this dimension, except vibranium, so breaking through the netherrack to find it was really easy, and in like no time at all, I had enough vibranium for a full set of vibranium armor. Taking my ATM gear and wrapping it in vibranium ingots, we've officially upgraded. I swear, if these things can still fucking hurt me in this game with around a thousand defense now, fuck this game. Now this armor is cool and all, but my weapon still does seven damage. I've got the flimsiest sword ever, and when I show up to the Big Dicks Anonymous, they're gonna laugh at me. I can't have that. So we're making a forge. With a forge, we can make all the modium and vibranium tools, but that's just gonna take a really long time, so I'm just mining in the meantime and making an eternal Stella. <sighs> this is a little embarrassing, but if I'm honest, I was trying to make a regen charm using my eternal Stella, and I could make it indestructible. But if you remember earlier when I tried to make other charms indestructible, uh, they patched that out of the game. So I'm fucking stupid because I thought it would work with the regen charm. Guess what? It didn't, and I wasted like 20 minutes. Good. I'm really, really proud of myself. Whatever. It's time to forge. And for the rest of the hour, I forged real good. I have no idea what I'm doing. I bless the rains down in Africa. I bless the rains. Hour 15, and I made a broadsword head to make a broadsword all the modium sword. But guess what? No, no, really guess. No, I want you to guess. Comment section below, say it out loud. I don't fucking care. Yep, they patched it out too! I can still make the broadsword and the handle, but I am not allowed to make the broadsword. Fuck you, all the mods. 
It's fine though, I made the Aldamadium sword, not broadsword, just normal sword, and it's got over 150 damage, so that makes me feel a little better. Or at least it would, if I didn't find out that when I hold that sword, it's the heaviest sword in the world. Literally, you can't even move while holding it. But I'm told that from JEI, I can use this sword to get blaze heads and make blazing blood. When that is combined with soul sand, it makes soul blood. And that can be made to smelt vibranium. At this point, it sounds like I'm just making up shit. It sounds like I just fucking went into one of those, like, like the Dolly app and just had it write the script for me. But no, soul blood is actually like what we're getting. Great. I smacked blazes for like forever and got nothing from them because this mod just hates me. <sighs> it's fine. My solution is cardboard. No, really. Using a cardboard box, I just took the spawner from the end and placed it over my forge. And after a lot of trial and error and one near death, we're making soul blood. The soul blood can smelt the vibranium, and I'm gonna skip the BS here for you guys. And here we go, vibranium sword. That does about 196 damage, and it doesn't weigh me down. That's what I'm talking about. I also made a vibranium pick while we're at it that has 30,000 durability. And finally, we can play basic Minecraft. Now that my sword does 200 damage a hit, I'm gonna go steal all the riches from the end. But first, I gotta make a badass bow. Can't make any bow from the forge, so I'm just using a normal bow with all the enchants I can stuff into it. Including an endless quiver book I found in a dungeon that lets me have infinite of any type of arrow. My arrow of choice is a quartz arrow because it does more damage and I got it from one of my Fletchers. Once I was all good to go, I spent the rest of the hour accruing all of my riches into two chests. And honestly, we don't have a lot, but what we do have is really strong and good. However, I made it clear at the beginning of this video that I need to be rich. So we need to pick up the pace. The last hour was spent in the mining dimension collecting anything and everything. Then I threw all of it into my smelters for when I got back and I made a gold jetpack. That's gonna let me fly around the end and it's gonna be perfect to bully the dragon. This is gonna be unfair. All right, there, it's perching. Check this out, chat. I have a timestamp, four minutes and 40 seconds. <sighs> I did a third of the dragon's health. Perch again, bitch. Oh, even these arrows kick ass. Yeah, bitch. You ain't got nothing. I ain't breaking a single crystal. I ain't breaking a sweat killing you. Holy shit, why are you flying away instantly? Stop. Is it because you're taking hella damage? Like, do you know? You know shit's going bad for you? No way you're that smart. Yeah, no, she flies away immediately whenever half her health goes. Aw, oh, that's annoying. I can't fucking hit one cycle you. Why is your AI different? Why is your AI different, eh? I'm not going up to any of those crystals. I am way too bougie to give a shit. I have a jetpack. You know what? You know what? Hi. Fuck you. Fuck you. Alright. Timestamp 8 minutes. Just got bored and went to go kill the dragon myself. So, the bitch is dead. But can we just talk about the whole doing a third of its health in one hit? Oh my god. Anyways, enough stroking my own dick. There's a reason that we're here. It's time for... Yeah. That's why I headed to the end, motherfucker. It's time to upgrade again. We're getting even stronger. And honestly, for the ending that I have, we're gonna need every bit we can get. First of all, though, I found an end city. And as you could guess, the loot is kind of ass comparatively. The thing I need in the end is an unobtainium, but I'm in vibranium, so diamonds and gold aren't the greatest. I still pick them up, but they're not my favorite. Unobtainium can only be found in the end highlands. So I had to head back home and make a nature's compass. I found it in the highlands and went to go look for unobtainium under the island. And I'm just gonna show you what I do here. Just looking to see if maybe it's like, oh, I found it. 
<laughs> Timestamp. 29 minutes and 30 seconds I found on Obtanium. Let's go! Vibranium pickaxe can mine it. No! Oh, I lost one of them. Wait, what? No, I lost them both! No, dude! No! They're the rarest fucking things! I just needed one! And my fucking inventory's too full of bullshit! Oh, fuck you, man! Ah, oh, son of a... <sighs> a couple minutes later, I got more unobtainium, and now I broke it with the right pickaxe. We got one, count them, uno piece of unobtainium. And I'm going immediately back home. That's all I needed. That's all I needed? Fuck you, that's all I wanted. Timestamp. There we go, unobtainium. Immediately throw it in the pulverizer. Fuck what's in the pulverizer, doesn't matter. Fuck you, this is getting pulverized. Woo! Fuck this game. Then you know how the song and dance goes. Back in the overworld, unobtainium sight potions, blaze powder, charm, there we are. The rest of hour 17 was finding unobtainium. That wasn't the easiest thing to do though, because Biomes You Go, a mod that gives you more biomes in the end, makes the end highlands really rare and hard to even find. But I found enough to make the gear. Hour 18, I'm sitting by the pulverizer, doubling my unobtainium, and then smelting it down to make that beautiful, rich purple ingot. Decking myself out in a set of the stuff, and it's so beautiful. Now, let's go over and make a sword that does 300 damage a hit. Boom, pouring that unobtainium. You can't obtain it, cause you're a bitch. A pickaxe with 40,000 durability, and the best part of all of this, it's all purple. Not only is that the best color, don't at me. I swear if I get any comments denying that purple isn't the goat of colors, I will lose it. It's also the color of royalty. And I know this is a stretch, but what's royalty known for? Being fucking rich. A little awkward here, but I did actually have to go back to the end to pick up Elytra, so I wasn't like really ready. I, I didn't have Elytra yet, so just don't worry about that. Just focus on the rich part, please. Being in the end, though, was really funny because this shit happened. What happened? I've had terrible luck this entire 24-hour video with um, pyramids, remember, Lav? This one just decided to blow up before I even fucking got there. 124, I float to it, and I just start hearing explosions. I didn't even get a chance to fuck that one up. It just blew up. It just fucking gave up. It just was like preempting. It was like, I know you're gonna screw this up anyway. So here. Fuck you then, game. Anyways, I did find a boat, got a Lytra, and moved on to hour 19. Getting close to the end here, and I wanna go out with a bang. But to do that, and to be as rich as possible, I need to prep a little. The first bit of hour 19, I got more unobtainium and made an unobtainium bow with silent gear. Thanks Twitch chat for the help there. Sadly, I didn't have a way to disenchant anything yet, so I didn't end up using this bow. Endless Quiver is just too OP and I can't get it off my normal bow. The most important thing I did though was make a dislocator. If I click this orb, I can set a spot and every time I press it, I'll teleport there. So it's like a big note button should things go bad. Hour 20, I'm heading out for a bit of an adventure, but before I do that, I wanted to have more stuff to be made for my cloches. I have a fuck ton of Inferium now, so I made Supremium so I can make Emerald and Diamond Seeds. Put these in the cloches and let them just dupe hella hard while I venture out. Now, this might be a bit of a flex mission. I say I want to go find good loot, but in the back of my mind, I know I just want to find out how unkillable and OP I am, so here we go. <laughs> And yeah, I kill everything in one hit. They can't even touch me. Also, I found the power glove, which gives me four more damage, and that's just overkill at this point. It's so bad. All right, hour 21, fuck this. We need to find something harder. So I thought it would be fitting to see how strong we've grown by heading into one of those dungeons I did back on hour one. 20 hours later, just as you guessed, I'm, I'm invincible. I'm just so fucking strong, nothing can even come close to hurting me. That was the goal and all, but that means to find good riches and a challenge, I need to head elsewhere. So let's try the nether. 
Hour 22, I went looking for bastions, and even the piglin brutes did like one heart of damage. Props to them, because no one's been able to even crack that so far, but man, this is just too easy. And besides a billion pieces of gold, the loot here also kinda sucks. That means there's only one place to go. We've tried the nether, the overworld, the end. We now have to look in the other. Now remember how I said dragons are in the other? Well, there's a reason I brought them up. I'm in unobtainium gear right now, and we've seen just how strong that is, right? Well, here's a test in a fight between a dragon and myself in a different world in unobtainium. Yeah. Oh my god. These dragons in unobtainium gear still like three shot me. So my goal is to fly around in my jetpack and not fuck with any dragon. Anyone cool with that? Okay, good. We'll loot everything else, but fuck dragons. If I fight them, I'm dead for sure. The loot in this world is great though. These nether ships have wither skulls on the front and crazy items in the chests. But at the tip of the hour, I looted enough stuff and, well, accidentally did the one thing I said I wouldn't do. I found a dragon. There must be something wrong with my brain because everyone else would have just not disturbed it, it was asleep, turned around, walked away. My first instinct was to go up to him with my Pokeball, and... Oh my god, I just caught the dragon! I didn't think that would work! <laughs> He's in a little ball now, and I could just loot all his shit! Ha! Holy shit, I caught the dragon. But once again, something's wrong with my brain because I took it back to my base. I, I don't know why I did this. Okay, in my defense, I thought the dragon wouldn't float on the water, but it did I, as I took it out of the ball and it immediately left. <laughs> Whoops. I had to go flying after him and catch the damn thing. Now I have a dragon that I can't let out of this ball. Fuck. But now I can at least loot all of his den, which gave me all the modium. These dens apparently have all three of those ores in nugget form in abundance. Greed might be a little bit of a factor here, but what if I went after more dragons? What did you do with my Pokeball? I'm sorry, I didn't mean it! Go away! Okay, so this dragon was distracted and I didn't have a lot of time to think, so I ate in all the Modium Apple and rushed right under him. Yes! by just chugging back apples and staying directly under him. And I did it. I actually killed that fucker by just chugging back all the Modium apples and staying directly under him. I'm gonna need more ADM apples. Well, it's hour 24, the final hour, and now I know I can kill these fucking dragons. And look, guys. Look, chat. Look, friends. Look, foes. If you love the content or if you hate the content, we can all agree with something. What is the richest entity you can think of Kings? Queens? The IRS? No. Dragons. And if I steal from the richest bitchest, that makes me the richest bitchest. So let's fucking do this. Final hour, I'm in the other, and I'm looking and I'm looking, and I'm not finding any more dragons. See, they only spawn in certain biomes. Basalt, ugh, deserts, and mountains. Only in the other, those are few and far between. But I'm still looking. I did find a Cyclops, and boop, he dead. But after 20 minutes of looking, I'm running out of time and I got upset. So I did what I do best. I Googled it. Back at home now and using three wither skulls I got from the ships, I spawned a wither and almost killed it in one hit. Holy shit. But I got its nether star and using that and arcane gold, we can make the charm of sight. This charm makes every entity glow and it makes dragons glow green. 
So with that equipped, I went back into the other. Another. down to a science at this point. But these are all little baby bitch dragons. They're level three. I want to conquer the den of the richest bitchest, a level five dragon. Those only spawned underground though, so I had to go searching. This took the rest of the time, but at the end of the hour, I actually found one. I was looking for an ice dragon, but I found a lightning one, which is arguably more dangerous, but this is Eclipse, and since when did I not go out with a bag? Like and subscribe, fuckers. Let's do this. G, easy, no re, slash ratio, L, go home, and L part two, fuck you, I win. Once the dragon fell, it was just as I thought. The dragon had heaps of unobtainium, all the modium gear, nuggets, vibranium, oh my god, the riches. This is the ultimate stash. Well, almost. You see, you can actually get better gear in this game, but I need to kill a hundred of these dragons. If you want to see me do that in the next episode, that's right, this is a series, bitch. Hit that like button, leave a comment, and blow this shit up. I'd love to make these in between the really big projects like 100 days, but I got a Thomas to feed, so you guys give it the support. And if y'all do, the next part will be me killing 100 dragons and what I can fucking do with all that power. But for now, I finalized all my loot, put them in these five chests, and let's see what I've got. Honestly, a pretty damn good haul, and that's the best I could do in 24 hours of modded Minecraft. I'll see you all in the next installment. My name has been Eclipse, EQ for short, and thank you for watching.